What's good, y'all? Welcome to this presentation. The topic is how to become mystical in your ability to attract and seduce women. Okay. Now, when I go back and I, I reminisce about the years when I was in high school and, and when I just got out of high school, it's very interesting to look back on those days because those days, you know, I could barely go up to a girl and say hi without sweating. Okay. I could, you know, I had this thing they call approach anxiety. I had a very extreme level of it because I remember I used to try to go out and talk to some women and I would end up just walking around. Like I'd go to a mall or something and I'd end up just walking around the mall for like over an hour and I couldn't talk to anybody. Okay. But I didn't give up. You know, that was the thing. Like I didn't give up. I kept going out until I got to this point where I started to get more comfortable with the environment. And then I try to say hello, you know, here and there and ask for directions. And, you know, I, I worked my way up to get into a point where I could, you know, approach women with comfort, approach them and demonstrate confidence. Right. Um, and, you know, obviously, if you keep doing something over time, you know, you start to figure things out. You know, I was also studying, you know, reading different things online and watching YouTube videos on how to get women and how to get girls and how to get a girlfriend, all this stuff. And I started putting these things together, you know, just applying my intelligence and, and, and combining these different things that I was learning until I started to figure out, you know, how to get some results. Like I started getting some phone numbers and I was cool, but then the phone numbers would flake. And then after that, okay, I, I just kept working on that. And eventually I got a girl to actually show up to a date. I went on the date. The date was super awkward. Okay, but you know, I learned from that experience. I went on some other dates, you know, the, some of them were awkward, some of them were better than others. Um, I had to learn how to, you know, when I went on these dates, I had to learn how to be interesting, you know, demonstrate a fun uh, personality because these girls would show up to the date and they're like, okay, you know, let's see what you got. And I would kind of just be nervous, right? So, you know, just having these different experiences, I was able to, um, you know, start to get, you know, comfortable with this whole uh, picking up women and dating women thing. Cause like in, in middle school and high school, I literally had no experience, right? Like I had no, the, the most I got out of middle school and high school was a hug from a girl and that was about it. And I used to think that was so great, right? Because I couldn't, I didn't understand how to get girls. Like I, I would do the things that I thought would work. You know, I would try to dress cool and try to act cool, but Honestly, I was just being very fake and putting up a facade wasn't really expressing myself authentically And that's why I wasn't able to really connect with any girls even when they would show interest Right because I used to play basketball, right? So that would get some attention from some girls, but I was just too shy and awkward, bro So like they would they would kind of show some interest and then they see me, you know Basically, I'd open my mouth and say some weird shit and they'd lose interest, right? so <clears throat> Uh, with that being said, um, I did something about that, right? I got out of high school and said, let me do something about this situation, okay? it's For me, it's not okay to not get any girls, man. Like, as a man, if you like girls, you got to figure out how to get some girls. If you're not getting any girls, figure it out, bro. Or else you're just going to you're gonna become very weird and miserable, and you don't want that, bro. So, um, me personally, I did something about it. I went out and approached women. As I said, it was very difficult in the beginning, but I got over it. And I say, I started getting some numbers, started getting some dates, and I started getting success, man. Like I started, um, you know, I got a girlfriend and went from from there. I, you know, lost my virginity, and then I started, you know, pulling girls from the club and you know, do going on instant dates and all the all these things that you see on these YouTube videos. I was able to achieve uh, pretty much everything, right? I mean, there's probably some some out there things that I haven't done yet and maybe that's not for me but I I've achieved all the goals that I set when I got into this whole um, picking up women and working on my my pickup skills thing right so as as I went through this journey which was years you know from high school I graduated high school in 2012 we're in 2021 now it's many years of me going out and approaching thousands of women I've developed my own unique way of attracting women and seducing women, right? Uh, after learning from different uh, people and reading different books and 
applying different things. I figured out my own style, right? And I found a way to become attractive as a man in a, in a way that is not very obvious or maybe not something that people talk about a lot. But this will make you very attractive. And it's essentially cultivating this desire to want to give and not focus so much on getting anymore, right? And, and for me, you get to this point where you really, um, you want to get to this point where you, you feel whole, right? Where you have taken care of yourself. You've taken care of your needs. You've taken care of what you want, you know, the feelings you want to feel, the emotions you want to feel, the, the things you want to achieve. Like you, you've basically handled these areas of your life um, not to say that you've hit every goal, but basically you've you've designed this character that you love being. You've created this life that you love creating. And so you're basically really enjoying and really loving your life as it is in this moment, right? So you're not waiting for something to happen in the future for you to be happy. You're already happy and in love with your life right now. And so you get to this point where all you want to do is just give. You want to give... Um, good vibes. You want to give um, good emotions. You want to give great experiences for people. And in order to really give and for people to actually want what you're giving, you have to develop some kind of value, some kind of gift, something that people want. Because you, in order for people to be appreciative of what you're giving, it has to be something of value. And so that's what you need to work on as a man. You want to become very valuable somehow some way figure out what is your gift what is your talent what is your um specialty what what can you do better than most people right and you want to start giving that right so if you're good at playing music you want to put out your music and let people benefit from your music like stop whole keeping these things inside of you stop holding on to these things start expressing these things because there's people out there that would benefit tremendously from what you're doing and when you give when you give a lot like you really want to get into this mode of just you're spending most of your day giving right you take care of yourself like start your day off make sure you take care of yourself make sure you feel good make sure you take care of your state your energy and then you just go out and just give, like give and, and be, fall in love with the idea of giving, right? Cultivate this desire to just give freely and not worry about what you get back in return because you will get back in return. Once you understand there's a law of exchange, what you give out will come back to you. Then you can just relax, right? And what you give out, what, uh, what comes back to you is not going to come back to you how you expect it to, right? So you may give out in a certain way and receive in a different way. Right. But you're not you're not even supposed to worry about receiving. You just want to give, give, give. When you interact with a woman, you see if a woman you find attractive. Attraction is actually a selfish trigger that goes that you feel inside. Oh, I want that girl. Oh, God, she's so hot or whatever. Right. Instead, you want to switch that as soon as you as soon as that comes up, that feeling comes up, you say, OK, what can I give to this girl that I want? Right. That would make her want me. You know what I mean? What can I give? What can I demonstrate? What experience can I give? What emotions can I create in her? What, what, um, you know, what uh, talent or um, ability can I demonstrate that's that will raise her her um, quality of life or give her an experience of life that she'll appreciate and and you know something that most guys can't do. You know, how can I stand out in my in my way of being? You know what I mean? And so it's just really understanding this idea of just giving, like forget about getting so much because that's what everybody's doing. Everybody's trying to get something. Everybody's trying to take something. Everybody's worrying about what's in it for me. Oh, I'm not going to do this unless you pay me or I'm not going to do this unless I get this or whatever. What if you just started giving freely and not having any attachment to what you receive? Because that was a shift that I made in my communication, in my game in my, when I deal with women, I focus a lot more on giving than receiving because I know if I give a lot, she's going to want to receive. She's going to want to reciprocate, right? That's the mindset I go in when I interact with a woman, you know? How much can I give, right? How can I make this girl's day? 
and then she wants she how can I get her to ask me for my number right instead of me asking for not her number if you give enough value in the interaction it's very there's a high chance that she may ask you for your number or may want to say hey what's your social media or something you know she probably want to stay in communication not that she's gonna necessarily fall in love with you in that moment but she's there will be some interest like if you demonstrate your value the same way she's demonstrating her value which is her replication value her looks you need to demonstrate your value which is what attributes do you have what talent do you have what gift do you have what about you makes you different than the other guy okay so you become mystical in your attraction, your seduction, when you have this mentality. Most guys are not thinking like this. And so when you step up with this mentality, your way of being is going to be different from everybody else because you're focusing on giving. When you speak, you're focusing on giving. When you're in an interaction, you're focusing on giving. You're focusing on how the other person can benefit, not how you can benefit, right? So now when she says something, you're actually listening because you care about her benefiting from the interaction more than you benefiting okay and you'll be able to pick up on certain things your communication will be a lot better because you're able to really be in tune and present to the moment because you actually care okay so this is how you develop a mystical ability to attract and seduce women it's changing your focus your mindsets the way that you interact with women the state of mind that you're in when you interact with women and interact with the world, it's more you're more focused on giving. Now, being focused on giving, you still want to be a masculine man that's grounded. So I'm not saying you're like a pushover and you're a nice guy or anything like that. You're just a guy that likes to give good vibes. Like you're already happy, you're already whole, you already feel good. There's nothing that you need from anybody, okay? Because you already taking care of yourself. And so all you want to do is give. You want to get to this point. If you're not there, make this your goal. How can I get to a point where I'm good, where I don't need anything from anybody, okay? Maybe there's certain areas in your life that you need to handle. Start handling those areas. Stop neglecting them. Stop ignoring them, right? If your dating life is not where you want it to be, you need to handle it because you're not going to be secure if certain areas in your life are not handled and you know you can handle them, right? You can handle it. If your dating life is not where it needs to be, all you need to do is level up as a man, right? I guarantee if we have a conversation, you tell me you're not, your dating life's not going a certain way, I guarantee you're not living up to your potential. You're not stepping up. You're not being the best you. If you are being the best you, there's many areas of your life that would improve very quickly, okay? If you started being the best you, he started focusing on giving. What can I give? How can I make benefit people? How can I benefit someone today? How many people can I benefit today? How much of an impact can I can I benefit them? And, and you know how beneficial can I be? Okay, it's different levels to that. And so you want to focus on this as a characteristic, as a quality that you have. You're the type of guy that focuses on giving and not on taking, not on receiving. You're not worried about that because you understand the law of exchange. What you give out will come back to you. And it will come back to you when it's time for it to come back to you. And sometimes it will come back to you in amazing ways. But you're not even focused on that. So when it comes back, it's like a gift. You're so thankful, so grateful. Maybe some uh, someone just give you some money out of nowhere because of all the giving you've been doing. They don't even know you, but they're like, hey, man, I just felt like I needed to give you this. Or maybe some, uh, you know, you just, um, you buy something and then, you see that you got it. You actually got it for free. Like this happened to me the other day. I bought something and I ordered like um, some food or whatever. And the person didn't uh, charge me for this, the, 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 the full order. They only charged me for a part of it. And, you know, it's not like I wanted this to happen, but it just happened. It's like the universe rewarded me for all the things that all the things that I've been doing as far as like giving of myself freely and not worrying about what I get in return. Now, while you're doing this, understand your value. Like if somebody's disrespecting you, don't don't take disrespect. You know, if somebody is taking you for granted, don't take let them take you for granted. Just give, give freely, right? But pay attention. So, you know, don't uh, you know for sure? Don't allow anyone to disrespect you. I'm not saying that like you're giving and then people are taking, taking, taking and abusing you. No, I don't mean like like that. I mean 
give freely in a way that you want to, right? You know, you have to get to a point where you're giving so much and you actually want to do that, right? But if it's, it's, if it's really your gift, your passion, something you love to do, it shouldn't be a problem. Like if you love to play music, play a ton of music and put it out there. Stop worrying about, oh, what if I don't, what if it's not good enough or what if I'm not making any money or whatever. Just put it out there. Somebody out there is going to benefit, even if it's just one person. Somebody's going to benefit from you giving value, okay? So that's the mentality. That, that will make you more attractive. That's actually a quality that I worked on that I notice when I do this and I, and I have this beingness, I'm more attractive to women, okay? Right? When I go out and I interact with women, if I make this identity shift, things change. I, used to, I remember I used to go to the club and I would go out and I'd approach women and some days it would be off. Like I'd approach women and I'd be getting rejected left and right. And I'd be like, what's going on here? And then something would shift in my mind where I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. Because I, I, I noticed when I was approaching them, it's like I was trying to get something. I was trying to get a girl for the night. I was trying to pull or whatever. I was trying to take something. I was trying to gain something. I made that shift. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to I'm just going to give good vibes. I'm just going to have a good time, right? I'm just going to, you know, raise the survival of the environment by, you know, bringing up the vibes and bringing up the 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 positivity in here and just have a good time and not give a fuck and actually go towards rejection. And you know what I mean? Like it's a shift in mentality and all of a sudden, you know, I remember um, I did this and there was some girl that like right when I made the shift when I approached the girl right when I made that shift She was all over me. And I'm talking about that whole night I was getting rejected pretty much the whole night, but just this mindset shift alone Right, I'm pretty sure I was looking fresh everything was on point, but my mindset was off I was trying to get something I was trying to take Okay, and there's an energy that the girl can feel when you go walk up and you're trying to get something and she feels like you're trying to take something from her Right, and it repels her, right? She wants to get away from you. But when you walk up and you actually have this giving mentality where you're not trying to get anything, you just want to give because you're already having a good time, you're already happy, you're already um, at peace with yourself, you already feel whole, you don't need anything, so you just want to give. That's when people want to return, you know, that's when they want to reciprocate, right? So that's the, this is like a quality that you want to develop, cultivate this desire to want to give. This is how you hit your goals, man. You want to make more money. You start getting in this mindset of giving more. Stop holding on to shit and trying to get, uh, I'm not going to give this unless I get this first or it has to be this way and it has to be that way. It's like, nah, just give freely and allow the universe to work with you. Allow the energy to flow and allow it to go and come back to you. You see what I'm saying? So how do you start getting into this, this giving mindset? You know, first you have to give to yourself. Starts there. You got to give to yourself. You have to start taking care of yourself, man. Take care of your mind. Take care of your emotions. Take care of your body. Take care of your soul, right? Start respecting yourself. Start loving yourself. Start doing these things that you need to do. You know what I mean? Start treating yourself with respect. Put yourself on a pedestal. Stop putting women on a pedestal. Put yourself on a pedestal. Treat yourself like a king. How does a king deserve to be treated, right? Respect yourself. Don't let nobody disrespect you. Don't let nobody try you, right? Don't let nobody walk all over you. Don't let nobody tell you what you can and can't do. You start treating yourself like you're the greatest person on in the world. Start by making sure you are good. Because you're not going to be able to give if you, if you feel like you have nothing to give. Okay? You need to develop value in yourself. You have to get to this point where you feel like you have value. You have to search and see what is my talents, what are my strengths, what is my specialty, what is my gifts that I've been given. And then give. Okay, like I play the piano and I sing. I play the piano and I sing and I put it out. I don't just sing to myself and play for myself. I do that too because as I say, you got to take care of yourself, create your own vibe, feel good. But then I give it out. Okay, I play my piano and I sing and I make these little videos and I put it out so other people can benefit. And I feel good when I do that, when I put it out and somebody says, oh man, I love this, love this song. Thank you for sharing this. 
or you know somebody says oh wow your voice is so great or whatever this is giving me chills or whatever but if i keep if i just kept that to myself you know i, I wouldn't even know how that's impacting others that's making people's day somebody might be in a down mood and then they see something that you put out maybe you put out some uh some video about something maybe you're just expressing something or maybe you have a talent and you put a video out on youtube or TikTok or whatever somebody get inspired from from what you're doing you know what i mean like just realize that like there's somebody out there that will connect to what you're doing right because maybe they're on a similar vibe or they're going through a similar experience to you and what you're doing is making sense to them right it's making sense to them and it's impacting them and it's helping better their life and so, but you, you're not worried about even that. You're just doing it because you want to do it. That's where it needs to come from a place of, I just want to give, right? Like I've been blessed with whatever you've been blessed with, whatever gift you've been, been blessed with, like give of it, right? If you're a funny guy, make people laugh, make people laugh, make everyone laugh, right? That's what you, that's what your gift is going to make people laugh. If you're music, you know, into music, play your music and put it out. Okay. If you're into whatever you're into, you know, see how you can uh, make people benefit from that. You know, figure that out. Because I believe we are on this planet for each other. Because I notice when you give, you feel good. So there must be some truth to what I'm saying. When you give, you actually feel better. Like if you don't feel, if you feel like shit or whatever, and then you just, like, like for example, me. Like let's say I'm not feeling it. But then I get on my piano and I start playing, you know what I mean? And I start playing a song and I start singing. I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm going to just put this out. And then I put it out and then somebody messages and messages me and, and, and sends, you know, uh, oh my gosh, that was such an amazing cover. Can you, can you please cover this song? Right? Sometimes that happens. I'll play a song. I'll put it out on Snapchat or whatever, right? Just because I felt like it. And as it will make someone's day, you know, they'll send me all the emojis and stuff and say, oh my gosh, that was so amazing. You know, and they'll, act, they'll suggest, you know, ask me to, to cover some other song and I'll do it. You know, somebody recently asked me to cover some song. I played the song at first. I wasn't really feeling it. But then I was like, bro, it's not about you, bro. Like give this person sees your value. They're asking you to cover the song, like cover the song, get into it, get into the emotions of the song. And you know, what's funny. I did that and I actually started to love the song. Like at first I thought it was whack. I was like, I don't know if I want to cover this, but I started playing it and I really started to get into it. I'm, and now I'm happy that I, that that person suggested that song. Cause I love that song now. You know what I mean? And, and now it's in my repertoire. I can create these experiences for people when they come around, I get on the piano and I can, you know, give them an, an experience they never had before. And that, that feels good, man. And and you you impact people's lives. You you change their vibration. You bring up their vibration when you give, right? So th this is an attractive quality, I'm telling you. Like, start doing it, you know? Start doing it. Start focusing on giving more. Giving more. And it will come back. As I said, that there's a law, the law of exchange. What you give out will come back to you. The universe will give back the energy that you put out there. You put out good vibes. The energy will bring, the universe will bring it back to you. That's the great thing about it. But the, the key is you don't even want to attach yourself to, oh, I must get something back. You ain't even worry about that. Just put it out. You'll feel good. You're expressing yourself. We're put on this planet to express ourselves, right? And so do what you love, man. Do what you love and, and see how you can benefit others with it, right? And by getting in this energy, this given energy, you become more attractive to women. Trust me. As I said, I gave you that example, like there's been plenty of times where all I had to do was make that shift from, okay, I'm taking, because when you see a girl that's attractive, the first thing that happens is you're like, okay, I want, man, she's fine, man. I would love to have her in my life. I would want her, I want her number, blah, 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 right? But you want to start training your mind to shift. As soon as that attraction turns on for you, shift it. Okay. I find that girl attractive. What can I give to her, you know, that would make her want to give something back to me, right? It would make her want to reciprocate, okay? So this is how you become mystical in your attraction, your seduction, because this is not something somebody can tell that you're doing. It's just a way of being, and you become more attractive, and no one would know. Like, for example, when I'm in the club, if I'm getting rejected or whatever, 
let's say I approach some girls and I get rejected, and then all of a sudden I start getting some girls, and I stop getting rejected, and I start getting girls, like they start fucking with me or whatever, no one's gonna really know how am I doing that? Like, how? what is he doing? Because if I was just getting rejected, what changed? My, I didn't change what I'm doing. I didn't change what I'm saying. I changed my mindset. I switched it from, okay, I'm trying to get a girl. I'm trying to pull. I'm trying to... No, let me give. Let me give a good experience. Let me give good times. Let me dance and, and say what I want to say and do what I want to do without filtering it so I get something. Let me just be myself freely in this in this environment and allow the universe to to bring the right people to me. And I'm telling you, there's been situations where oh, as soon as I make that shift, the universe gives, you know? As soon as I give, the universe is like, here you go, right? It rewarded me for making that shift because it's not easy to do that. It's not easy to put yourself aside and say, I'm just going to give here. I'm not even going to worry about what I get. It's not easy to do. But I'm telling you, if you make your life more about giving, you will receive. That's the beautiful thing about it. It's not like you just give, you give, and you're not going to get shit. You will receive, but you got to be open to it. You got to be open because some people that are closed minded, they don't see the blessings. They don't see when the universe is rewarding them. They can't see it because they have their, they have their mind closed, right? They're focusing on negativity, right? Or they have some negative beliefs or whatever. You want to become a man of positivity, a man that says, yo, I'm done with negativity, bro. Keep the negativity over there. Keep it over there. I ain't with it, right? I'm a positive man. I'm an optimistic man. I'm a man of value. I give value. Okay? All right, all right. So if you're a man, you're watching this, and you want to become more attractive to women, all right? You want to learn how to become more grounded in your masculinity, how to express yourself authentically, how to become more attractive, more of a leader, um, how to become more seductive, Check out my group. It's called the Sexy Beast Tribe. I'll leave a link in the comments. You can check out the group. Some great content in there. And it's, it's all about men that want to become the best version of themselves and become, you know, attractive to women. Attractive to high caliber women. Women you find attractive. Women you find physically attractive. But also the right kind of women that you can connect with and vibe with. Alright, thanks for watching. Peace.